welcome to the Sneaker Podcast, a show where a bunch of guys sit around a table to talk life, lifestyle, music, and all things sneakers. So sit back, turn it up, and let's go. What up, TSV family? Hope you have a dope day and thanks for tuning in. This is the Sneaker Podcast, Season 9, Episode 5. My name is Chris Chu, and this is the crew. What is up, Cal? Yo, what's going down? Oh, what's going down? What is up, Maya? What up? What up? What's up? What's down? Okay. And we have a special <laughs> guest straight from the hearts of GTA. What is up, J.R. Weidman? funny because i was playing grand theft auto this morning um what's going on what's going on what's cracking yeah good to have you bro what up jr thanks for having me guys thank you appreciate it what's going on yeah as always the sneaker podcast is brought to you by your favorite organic sneaker cleaner sneaker logic you can find them on instagram at sneaker logic underscore official you can get 15 percent off your order t- with tsp 15 as the code time to clean those sneakers summertime it's spring but summertime is <laughs> coming soon, right? Yep. Got to clean those white on whites. All right. Uh, and now let's go into uh, one of our favorite segments for the podcast. What you're planning to wear tomorrow brought to you by Quality. All right. Uh, you can find Quality at Quality, uh, K-U-W-A-L-A-T-E-E. I uh, find them uh, also online, quality.com. Uh, you they have a sale going on right now. If not, you can use our coupon code SPOD20. Uh, let us know how it goes. Let us know what you're picking up these days. Uh, Cal, you want to start us off with what you're planning on wearing tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Um, so I was uh going through my closet uh, earlier today. I got a trip coming up in a little bit, so I'm the type mm. of like weird guy that plans out all my outfits way in advance. Um, nice. So should. I was going through, <laughs> so I was going through, going through my closet and I totally forgot that I have that sick gray and like dusty pink with black striped rugby mm-hmm. from quality. Yeah. Oh, so I, I saw that and I was like, Holy shit. Like it's spring when I'm going, so I'm not bringing that, but I was like, I got to get some more wares in this real quick before uh, any of this happens. So um, I'm going to wear that tomorrow. And I'm going to uh, cover it with the, my gray zip-up Raglan hoodie. Um, mm. So it's got the gray on gray. The grays aren't the same. We were just talking about not having the same earlier. <laughs> but, Yo, but, and gray, uh, gray's the worst one, man. That's the worst one. I know, but, but it's like it's like a heathered with like that like kind of dark kind of gray. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think I it's going to look good. What if your gray and has it, like speckled of like the darker tones and then your bottoms are kind of like the darker tone? Well, that that's like it might match the 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 gray on the shirt might have some a little couple dots. Then your your whole match. body's like a gradient, you know. <laughs> I imagine that'd be great. Yeah, but um, but I'm gonna uh, go with a pair of uh, black destroyed denim as mm. well with that. And um, on feet, I think I'm gonna just bust out the black cement threes just uh, because. Okay. Because it's a good reason. Yeah. Always a good reason. Yeah. Always a good reason. Yeah. 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 Uh, Maya, you want to hit him up? Yes. Um, hopefully, I get to pick it up tomorrow. But I'm going to be wearing the uh, cropped rugby shirt in green and white from the new women's collection. Um, and their new cargo skirt. Mm-hmm. Cargo it's like a, a beige. It's sick. I'm like, okay, okay, cool. I'll let's see with the new designs. Um, the yeah, the beige cargo skirt. Um, because you know, it's really it's getting really nice outside. Like we're in the double digits. I think yeah. I can wear a skirt with some leggings. Um, and I'll be wearing some leg warmers with my opening ceremony UGG Tasmans. Okay, what yeah. what does that look like? I know nothing. Of, of. It looks mad perfect. Oh, it's the um, it's mule? the platform mule. Huh. It's the mule. It's all white. I have it. I have it here. I'll show you real quick on camera. We got mule creeper. It looks like this. It's like yeah, a... mule creeper. There you go. <laughs> exactly, mule creeper. But yeah, this is the opening ceremony collaboration. 
I showed you guys on uh, the other day that it was going for like nine hundred dollars. I've never seen a uh, go for that much money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. It's wild. <laughs> yeah, I think like the brown pair is going for over a thousand dollars. Okay, it's crazy. so so like the top is just basically like a the top. Yeah, has it's like basically a strap over. like a a mule with like a belt buckle a over belt buckle. it. I there guess it looks like a buckle and you know typical UGG uh, lining inside, but they're really cute. Is it's it preppy. It goes well with the rugby shirt and the cargo skirt with the leg warmers it's like a preppy look you know what were you uh -huh. saying cal uh are those leather or like that uh that yeah suede it's stuff? leather Ooh, it's very nice. leathery see Beauty. it's even like yeah <laughs> yeah from a little look. but yeah i'll be wearing that tomorrow okay and shout very out nice. to quality with their new women's designs they're killing it uh jr what do you plan on wearing on feet tomorrow do you know do you own any quality stuff Just, i don't i you, don't i think jr is a guy that we should introduce to quality for sure yeah and I, would, I would agree with that yeah that would make sense that would make I sense love, to us so we'll i, I think we'll, we'll make an introduction for sure that's like okay. what the heck man yeah, yeah. <laughs> they go hand in hand. What are you planning on wearing on quality. feet? Then let's go with right. that. Yeah, uh, on feet, I'm just I'm trying to check the weather to see if there's any precipitation. Mm, that's what I like. Um, <laughs> that's what I like. <laughs> tomorrow, um, I don't know. I have an event to go to with a friend of mine, um, with another friend. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm thinking about. I wanted to pull out black toe lows today, and I didn't get a chance to do that. So I might uh -huh. I might pull those out. Yeah, that's okay. a nice one. That's a good mm. one. Yeah, so mm -hmm. like you're going to an event. Is there a lot of pe sneaker people there? Um, not a lot of sneaker people. No. Okay. No. no. Right. There's a few, definitely a few, but not a lot. So mm. in those situations, do you aim to like kind of still have your shoes kind of do the talking for you before you have to say anything to anyone, or you're going another route like classics or? Just, I mean, classics, yeah, like a Jordan One Low. I've been rocking, like, I've been wearing eighty-five neutral grays, eighty-five mm. lows. Um, I've been wearing those a lot, like, since probably the start of the year. Um, mm. So I've been kind of just letting those, yeah, just, just something light, you know, when you're not trying to make a statement. I get it because that type of shoe, most anyone could understand, mm. whether yeah. they are a sneaker person or not, right? Yeah. You look at your sneakers, you're like, that's a nice shoe, and you're like, yeah. Right. If you go too hypey, sometimes you're like, I don't understand your sneakers, sir. And you're like, yeah. wow, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yo, did anybody yeah. watch Bobby Hundred's story today or yesterday? No. What, what happened? No. I don't, I'll get like a quick Coles note. So <laughs> on his, his, his like uh, door cam, he caught somebody stealing. He got the Salehi Crocs and he got them stolen from some like oh. a, a guy oh, in no. his neighborhood. And I guess their neighborhood's very like very well known a lot of people have door cams and i guess this guy has been posted on like a bunch of people's door cams so i guess he went to it went to his like lo local park took his dog for a walk and found the guy Whoa. that like that's that's it, it's like it's like a it's like a um like a, like a like a homeless person and they were just like out doing their thing um oh. but he pulls up i pulls up on him he's like bro like you took my shoes and he's like no man i didn't take your shoes and he left mm. his other shoes behind and he's like the guy asked him he's like I took your shoes. He's like, yeah. He's like, did I leave my other shoes behind? He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, I took your shoes, bro. Oh <laughs> like, my God. Oh. They, have, they have this like conversation and like Bobby's not mad or anything. He's just yeah. like, I want to explain to you what they are. He's like, they're Salehi. Salehi's a great designer, blah, blah, blah. And um, the guy's just like, oh yeah. He's like, I think I kind of heard that name. He's like, oh, you know what Crocs are, dude. What the hell? And he just like it, he just doesn't like take the, he just lets him have them and he's like yo the other shoes didn't fit me he's like yeah man don't worry about it like have fun with those just like know that people will look at you weird because they're special shoes and he's like oh okay okay cool cool <laughs> yeah, that's funny yeah, that's good. I'm gonna have to watch wholesome. that <laughs> yeah it was a it was a very wholesome wholesome story it's pretty cool to watch <laughs> that's cool yeah mm -hmm. um on the heels of that I'm gonna tell the people what I'm planning on doing tomorrow so i'm supposed to it's it's march break here montreal mm -hmm. area mm -hmm. so uh we're we've booked a little outing to what they call oopla here it's oopla. yeah it's like trampolines and like suspended bridges within like mm. a foresty area nice yeah nice but last night i injured my 
thigh. Oh, no. Someone need me in the thigh. Ooh. Oh no. Hamstring, I don't know. That area. And it in it like it smarts whenever like I have to like get up, get down, like sit, sit mm-hmm. up, sit down. And and I haven't been uh I didn't tell the wifey yet. <laughs> As you know, hey, how often do we go trampolining and like you injure yourself? Yeah. So I didn't say Damn. Okay, but so I'm gonna try to hide it. I'm gonna try to like wrap it up before we go tomorrow. Uh, needless to say, I need to wear some uh, sportif uh, type of apparel. I'm gonna go with some essential sweatpants. I'm gonna mm-hmm. go with a uh, black because I don't know if there's like dirt that I need to roll around in, just in case. I don't want the gray, you know. And then there's like mm-hmm. a, a splotch of wetness appearing somewhere. I don't want that. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> the, the black uh, sweatpants uh i'm gonna wear it is march i will mm. be wearing some air max 90 infrared okay nice a little you know i can jump around with those i figure they're kind of safe enough for some sport mm-hmm. eh. uh mm-hmm. yeah i'm, I'm pro- probably gonna wear just the perfect hoodie to go along with that just because I don't. I don't know what the weather is going to be like. I think it should be fine, and we'll be doing activities. It's going to get hot. Should be comfortable. Mm-hmm. Should be versatile. Very versatile. Versatile. There you go. Even if Yo, I need go- to go like rob a bank, I'm set. All black. All black. You, can, you can do it all. You yeah. can do it all. He was wearing Air Force uh, Air Max nineties. Just mm-hmm. do it. Yo, I gotta. I gotta move for you, man. Yeah. If your uh, if your thigh <laughs> acts up and you have to like take a time out from bouncing yeah. around. Go go by go by the kids and like act like one of them bumped into you and then you could be all like oh I'm hurt but it's okay you were just having fun and you can play like the really mm-hmm. understanding good guy and then you can and then no one's gonna be like oh you got hurt they're gonna be like oh a kid hurt you and you were like so nice about it and it'll be all like uh, uh, you'll be a uh, hero or, or I could like I could like trip one of the kids and uh-huh. they fall and like while they're on the ground I go everyone take a knee and then I can rest. You know, <laughs> <laughs> take a knee. <laughs> exactly. You pull the golf cart out, and yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, a good, good. I'll, I might do that. I'll, I don't know. I don't know. I've never been there before. I don't know if I can pull some ninja rolls or anything. I don't know. We'll see. Sounds like fun. Yeah. It should be fun. It's in the woods. It's is that yeah, what you said? It's in an Abraska here in Quebec. Okay. Abraska, Mont Saint Grégoire. Yeah, mm. so it's uh, interesting. It's out picture. there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, as a, as a, a small tidbit, as a as a kid, I was a camp kid, and I went mm. to sports. I went to a sports camp, and I always you get to choose two things, and then I always did basketball. And the other thing mm. I always did was like climbing, because I had like a huge climbing and like rope section and shit, and I I love that shit. That's just mm. like the rock climbing stuff. Rock climbing, and they had like suspended bridges and like uh, rope pulley systems that you would have to like walk up and stuff. It was pretty. It was pretty sick. Do you ever see that documentary about free solo, free soloing? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Nuts, nuts. Yo, <laughs> talk no about way, having, man. talk no about having no, talk about having no fear. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. Like we we get we get anxious when there's a re- uh, sneaker release. I don't know if we can handle a free soloing, guys. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's true it's yeah. true all right let's get the, to uh, another really cool part of our podcast it's called new shoes who's got new something shoes. in terms of pickups this week i'll go yeah um, go for it because puma sent me the scoots it's my first pair I just love that they're called the Scoots. <laughs> I know the name is crazy. His, his um, name is a I great name. I was not yeah. expecting these. The colorway is crazy. It's wild. So that's a perfect way to describe it. But honestly, I really like them. They're kind of childish, but I would wear these to ball they're, for sure. <laughs> this is the Northern Lights. So it's the based Northern off of Lights. like the Aurora, I guess, Aurora Barra. But like, yeah. It, and I mean, it's, I like him. It's giving yeah. MB, it's giving mellow ball. MB it's giving ones. mellow. I, th- yeah, I, yeah, 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 definitely. I thought they were. I was like, what are these? Oh. <laughs> these are mellows. <laughs> I've seen the, I've seen the box and the logo, and I was like, oh, they're the scoops. I like his logo. <laughs> it, I don't know what that S is. That uh, 
people use to just pencil or yeah graffiti. like the nostalgic oh, yeah. s oh yeah. is that yeah. what it is it, it looks a lot like it that it's like similar a, it doesn't very, look like, like it yeah. exactly but looks very similar yeah okay but yeah okay. no i'm i'm excited to try them on the court for sure and we'll see how they how they are see if they're as good as the mellows so, <laughs> so i like so that my- i like that toe wrap on it like the toe cap how like looks like it comes over the shoe like yeah. it looks like an actual toe cap the black leather part of it that's cool do you guys yeah. uh you guys like comics who 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 used to read comics or kind of, like so that the toe cap of that scoot northern light looks a lot like alpha flight the comic book there's a, a member two members there's a north star mm-hmm. a speedster it looks a mm-hmm. lot like his uniform. Nor- North Star had like uh, it was black and white, and he had like yeah. a, a yeah. mask, but his mouth was out of uh, it, right? Oh, I see. No, not really a head. mask. His, his twin sister also had powers and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, he, he was the first superhero that like came out as gay. Oh, really? In the, oh. in the comic book, really cool. Then I, then I do know about him. I I yeah. I I heard this story. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hmm. I've not yeah. heard this. Yeah. It was a long time ago, like in the nineties. Was... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's my only pickup for the week. Uh, okay, nice pickup. Uh, Cal, you got something? I mean, I was dry for pickup, but I got something a while back that um, I don't think very many people have seen. You, you probably saw it on my Instagram when I first got it, but uh, I don't think I talked about it on here. And I figured I'd do it because it's pretty neat, and I don't know anyone else that has something like this. Mm-hmm. Um. Ooh. My uh, my friend uh, Jessney from uh, Australia, she went to Korea and in the Nike store in Korea, she picked this up and she sent it to me. It came in a little bag, but I didn't want to take it out because I just got these on display. So I didn't need to uh, get the bag out and stuff like that. But it was like a whole picnic set and it's from Nike at the Nike store. And so there's chips. Oh, that's fire. Oh, and dude. water. And like... There's chips in it. Like yeah. I don't know if you can hear that. And then <laughs> I wonder com- what kind it, of chips. <laughs> it comes with this clip here. Oh, that's cool. And there was wait, how do you know it's a clip? Two plates. Yeah, no kidding. It says this clip, clip on, on it. it. It's a big <laughs> orange. It says clip. That's for anybody. Uh, for anybody that's uh, listening, you can see it on the YouTube. Which like four people. Yo, shout out! I was watching the YouTube and I saw like. Uh, one person goes like I'm the only person that watches on YouTube and then the other guy goes I'm the only person that watches on YouTube too and then the third guy's like I watch too so shout out to those guys I wouldn't like those comments because I was like yo that's hilarious that's funny um, yo maybe if people watch the, watch the YouTube we could like step up our YouTube game um, yeah. but anyways so then uh, then they gave the uh, two plates which are just uh, that like I don't know yeah, composite plastic, material, plastic p- and they, plate. yeah, mm-hmm. they got a they got a orange swoosh on them, and then two glasses with black Nike swooshes on them. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's good. Nice display. I just, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I just I don't know anyone else that has it, and since I uh, had nothing to uh, talk about on the show for new pickups, I figured I'd mm-hmm. show that off. That's Check it out on the pickup. YouTube. I did a terrible uh, job of describing them so go watch the youtube yes and then you'll see how colorful those it's, it's like a ones are. plates forks <laughs> glasses all in the shape of a swoosh all of yes. them are <laughs> shaped yeah. like a swoosh all <laughs> swoosh. Yeah, 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 yeah 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 and they're pink yeah <laughs> um oh, jr you got something speaking of swoosh branding stuff i saw i was on um uh ebay the other day and saw nocta did like unreleased uh, tees, golf tees, and they were just swooshes with like oh. a top on the top. Oh, of the... oh, that's fire! Yeah, I was like, so on the sick. on the the curve, there's like a thing. There's to hold a little the ball. divot to hold the ball. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, that's, Nike, cool. that's cool. Fire. How how much? How much? About how much did they go for? They were like four. It was like forty bucks for a pack of six, I think. Yo, that's that's decent. That's not bad. That's not bad. I wonder if they bad. perform well. Yeah, I don't know. It was unre- they were like unreleased. I don't know if they're ever gonna come out, or maybe it was just like a like a promo thing for like one of their because they do a lot of golf tourney stuff. So maybe it was just mm-hmm. like that. But oh yeah, yeah, it, it was for Tiger until he, you know, he, he... <laughs> left. Yeah, <laughs> left. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, do I have any pickups? Um, no, my most recent pickup is the 85, 85 lows. Um, okay. The neutral grays. Been wearing those a lot. Prior mm-hmm. to that, um, you know, shout outs to the influence of uh, Mr. Calby. I've been buying a lot of New Balance, a lot of kids nice. inspired, kids inspired pieces. Uh, so uh, I recently got I got the Carhartt um, New Balance nine ninety V sixes, and then I got the. Oh. Um, you saw the video. This is like months ago. The Madison Square Garden nine ninety V sixes. The next. Oh color. yeah yeah yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, big fan of those. Big fan of those. Um, yeah, that's. Did you really... get the darker color or the or both or the beige one? Just the just the, the next dark one, one, not the Rangers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, Nix is the uh, the beige. The beige. The yeah, beige yeah, okay. the blue and the orange, and then the Rangers is the blue and the red. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 Um, I like that. But yeah, that's that's been my my pickups lately. Good stuff. Good yeah, stuff. I like this guy when he's wearing New Balance and shit. I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> I know. <laughs> Cal, 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 are you asking yourself? Did he do it for me? Did, did no, it's funny because me? when I when I when I got like this is a little while back. I got I got some pair of Jordans, and then uh, Jr. hits me and he's like, "Yo, man, I, I dig it when you pick up Jordans." And then so when this guy <laughs> when this guy gets New Balance, I hit him up. I'm like, "Yo, bro, I dig it when you get New Balance." And That's funny. Literally, these uh, the last one I got those Carmines. I messaged him just a picture of it. I took a picture of it and I was like, huh. yo, man, just so you know, like, I got Big another pair. <laughs> you, you know, video. the funny thing is I associate the uh, Jordan 4 Levi to you, yeah. JR. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So crazy. It's sitting right. That's a shoe I'll never sell, man. Crazy story. Fun times. Great, yeah. Crazy times back then, man. Like, I don't yeah. have that shoe, but whenever I see a picture or someone references it, I always imagine you rocking them at the, the shop there. Mm, mm. Yeah, I like, like, funny. I came across the pictures of the day that you guys showed up the other day. Yeah, they're in like one random folder on my my iPhone, and I always like when I'm like downloading stuff from like Chrome on my phone. I have uh, to go uh, to that uh. folder, and I always see you with the Raptor shoes holding them up. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. taking a photo. Or you download all your miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the, <laughs> the, the, all the, the Kanye leaks that I download. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> um. Very cool. Uh, I got, uh, I got t- two pairs to show this week. Um, in the mail, the book one in the Mirage mm. V two colorway. Great shoe. I like yeah, it a lot. I, agree. I like it a Everybody, lot. Now that I'm glad that like people, like now that they're in hand, I mean, people are liking them because Twitter was going crazy over them, and I was like, oh, I, I had the orange ones. I had, I unfortunately had to let them go because they were way. <laughs> way too much money but um yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. um yeah. Insane. they uh they're they're a great shoe i i, I love them i want to get a pair of the gray ones like i want i want to get a couple pairs in the collection they're just it, like they look cool they wear well yeah. <laughs> yeah that's my dilemma to wear them on court or just wear them out you know on the street because they they're comfy man they're comfy yeah. super padded and they look yep. they look chill like really you know yeah. they definitely yeah. look m- lifestyle Definitely. Yeah, yeah, and um, I like them for a lifestyle look. Yeah, mm-hmm. I did see some guys just playing them and say there was like durability issues. So oh. I don't know if there's a point to like playing in them. And uh, yeah, I I I bought them online on release, and mm-hmm. then you know before they arrived at home, I had time to go to like the Foot Locker, um in town and check them out in hand and the guy the 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 sales guy was like selling them to me like talking them up to me i'm like yeah yeah cool 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 (laughs) and i was like oh (laughs) they are nice put some i love when you do that you put it down okay we'll see you later (laughs) yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) yo the sales reps hate that shit (laughs) no but he was he was just talking to me about them and then and then i i i actually went in there to find this other shoe which is the mm. Adidas <gasps> AE1 in the, uh, which Black we call the Stormtrooper and... colorway. Yes. Got a lot of noise, yeah. actually. They're this so colorway. pretty. Love <laughs> this colorway. Like, that, All-Star, that All-Star one was crazy. Too. All-Star one is very good, too. But, like, it, it looks better. It looks good. It's a very good shoe. Very nice-looking shoe. But it looks always looks better in photos because people mess up with the editing and make 
like they make the iridescent like i don't know brown a little bit too burgundy. iridescent yeah yeah. yeah 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 so you see yeah. way more colors in it in photos mm -hmm. which is great but it's all it's, but it's, it's still a very nice shoe yeah it's more like copper honestly in person i think yeah it's definitely yeah. copper in person very I don't know if the copper has shades, but a dark copper. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, this this one, Stormtrooper was always the pair that I was always waiting for. Uh, so yeah, they planned. Oh yeah, it out. The, it, or no, the three way no, right? That's not the 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 triple up one, right? That was that yeah. was the All Star game. It is no, this one. Okay, no, 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 oh, no, no. Okay, no. okay. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what so, I thought you meant when you said you're waiting for it. I was like, oh, well, I was waiting thing. for Stormtrooper because I was like, like they showed pictures of this pair like early on. I was like, oh, okay. so clean, so clean. And this pair mm -hmm. too, I think you can wear like on street, and it people won't know like uh, what what kind of it's new Adidas sneaker that you wear for lifestyle or whatever. Yeah. And um, they, I feel they timed it well because they showed pictures of this one and kind of like leaked the All Star Game one too. So people got excited, and then they released two colorways before that, like the the first like peachy one, and then the blue yeah. one, which under any other circumstance, it's it's a blue shoe, hit or miss because it's blue, but because everyone's anticipating these coming out, they're like, I better get that, and everyone right. got excited, and they got That's like true. me, I got caught, they got me. I bought all the colorways <laughs> until yeah. this one came out. <laughs> and then uh, now I think I'm good. Like, I don't think there's another colorway that's going to come out that I, you know, I need that one because I already have all these other, other colorways. Said like, a, said like a true sneakerhead. Yeah, yes, sir. I don't think yeah, I need yeah. any. Uh, mm -hmm. check, check in with me next month. Yeah. I don't need any more. To, every, every Jordan one on it. I don't need any more of those. No, no, next no. Year. Yeah. Next year. <laughs> Says the one with a closet. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, super happy uh, with this shoe. I bought pairs online. I bought pairs in store. Uh, I helped buddies find their sizes. Like we mapped out a whole plan to to find pairs. It's it was pretty fun. And then yeah, very cool. Very very cool. That's um, wild. That I mean, shoe's blown up. I've also been spending my money on vinyl again recently, so that's where oh. I've been buying more shoes. I've been buying lots of lots of vinyl. What again, what? Uh, how do you? How do you? How does one go about that? Like, what do you know what to yeah. get? Um. Well, you, you just it's vinyl. Like, it's it, the the thing I like about vinyl collecting. It's like very much like sneakers, but like it's just way more way more nerdy because there's just so much more depth in terms of just like releases and mm -hmm. certain reissues and whatnot um but in terms of what to get it's just it's based off personal preference and personal selection really and kind of the game never really ends so recently i picked up i was able to grab um for the first time in over a decade they reissued watch the throne universal started reissuing mm -hmm. it so i was able to grab uh a copy of that it's really dope um it's just like it's just like the CD. Like I have the CD. I always have the CD on my desk, but mm -hmm. um, it's like exactly like this. Um, and the the actual vinyls are like heavyweight vinyls with like pictures of Kanye. Of like, just go grab them. But it takes a lot to do. But they have the each of these is on each, each of the discs, so the faces are on the discs. Oh yeah, I remember those faces from when the <laughs> album came out. Definitely. Yeah. And then um, I got the last Tyler album. Call me if you get lost. The uh, the re-release the estate sale i got that there was like a special edition of that so um in terms of like yeah what to get it's all about personal preference and what you like really want to collect i guess at the end of the uh, day and what you, what you so like to listen to what's what's retail on a vinyl it depends it so depends. like yeah like that the watch the throne one is like super like high quality in terms of just the materials and like it's literally like it's like gold plate it's like 100 it's 155 dollars like oh damn okay which is which is which is ridiculous for two vinyls and a cover but i mean the the estate sale it was a special edition and it was 50 bucks so i mean it really varies mm -hmm. but you're looking like on a new a new just regular version of an album you're probably looking at anywhere between like 30 to 40 bucks and like it's online releases is it like that sometimes or? sometimes online um sometimes like if it's just like a mass release like say like i don't know use um i don't know um, use taylor swift for example like you can go to any record store and probably right. find a, a majority of her music there um but other stuff is like maybe there's only 500 copies or 2500 copies and you just have right. to 
you'll either get it at your local record store if they order it or um you'll get it online if you're you're able to get it online like watch the throne i had to like tell my local record store because i found out about it on twitter and i was like hey man like next time you get a pick list from universal and there's watch the throne on it can you try and grab me one he's like oh shit yeah okay cool and then like, nice. a month, a nice. month later a month later he's like i got you one i was like amazing oh, that's awesome so cool so it's- like yeah it's a lot of that shit and it's weird it's it's lucrative too like in terms of like sneakers like in comparison mm-hmm. to sneakers too there's certain records that come out like you'll buy it or find that are old like that were original prices that have never been repressed and they're like hundreds of dollars and you're like whoa like i found yeah. this i found this five years ago for 50 bucks like you know what i mean like uh-huh, uh-huh. shit like that the 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 the, the valuation of, of vinyl is pretty pretty high so depending on what it That's is cool so it's, it's like we discovered recently well some of us discovered that hats have like that same culture same mm-hmm. community yeah, I type. I feel and like now... everything at this point, right? Yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. has like a. So do you... There's like a community everywhere. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, feel... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel these these kind of communities do intersect in a way, like uh, like hats, sneakers, music. That's yeah. dope. for sure. They yeah. all go hand in hand. So, yeah. so do you have like a special, uh, like a uh, record player? Nothing special, no. It's just a regular hmm. run-of-the-mill Audio Technica that you can get at any normal record shop. I haven't like. I, I want to get a really nice one, but I like they're like the ones I want are like three thousand, four thousand dollars. Oh damn! I'm, I'm, okay, I don't, I don't have. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money to just let sit there. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> like, uh-huh. <laughs> so yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll see you later on down the line. But yeah, I would love to get really like nerdy into that stuff because like some of the vinyls are like some albums are re-recorded specifically so they record them on vinyl so they just sound better on vinyl so if you have a really good system they just sound like ridiculous like Mm. Chavez Gambino's last album Awaken My Love they re-recorded it for vinyl and it sound like it sounds on fucking real like on vinyl Mm. it sounds so good and so crisp and so clear it's it's so good like I love it nice that's so interesting yeah yeah yeah. very nice very very nice um okay let's get into flooding our feeds we just have a few pairs to talk about this week Mm -hmm. um jordan 9 powder blue let's go yeah you like that jordan i just like i just like to see og stuff i'm like it's funny because like we just had like burgundy fives and we had olive fives and all these things Mm -hmm. i haven't released in like over 20 years and i'm very like i love them i'm I'm still Mm -hmm. not out there buying them but i'm loving to see that these things are getting this this resurgence at this point and i know like jordan brand's kind of like everybody's like hmm, jordan's aren't the hot shoe anymore but <laughs> you love seeing the og colorways come back that's all yeah yeah i agree i fe- i do feel like i will grab a nine like, oh, there, there, there's, there's all- so many coming olive is a strong contender very oh, strong it's number one mm-hmm. but it really that I don't I didn't check on uh, I don't remember the release date. It really matters what time of the year they're gonna release that shoe. Because if it's summer, I kind of don't want to get it. Because you, you know you're not gonna wear it until yeah, like until fall. like it gets like colder. Really, I think nines like fly in the summer with a with a pair of shorts and whatever. No, but olives though, they got yeah. they got that fall flavor hard. That's fair. Okay, I I, mm. I yeah I you kind of correlate that colorway with the fall. Yeah, I, yeah, I get yeah. That. Funny, I, I was just having this thought earlier today about, like I said, I was looking, I was thinking about my clothes and I was like, it's spring. I have to wear my spring shoes. I started <laughs> looking at all my pink. I'm like, what pink shoes am I bringing with me? Mm-hmm, guys, mm-hmm. Guys, <laughs> guys, guys, it's still winter. I just want to let you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know where you're from, JR, but. Yeah, no. but it's spring break here. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, yeah, it's been, it was 15 degrees yesterday here. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with you. I'm just saying, like, it's still March 6th, okay? <laughs> like, it's. <laughs> JR, if you're going to shit on our, our no! spring weather, I'm here for it. <laughs> we're going to get Alvin back in here, okay? Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Shout out to my dude Marlon. Like, if 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 global warming is bringing us warm winters, I'm here for it. Let's go. Like, I'm Let's all go. for it. <laughs> mm. uh, 
Also, so you're not are you gonna get the UNC nines or what, Chris? No. You're not gonna get the UNC nines? Nah. <laughs> nah. I cannot see Chris in a, in those in that colorway. Just a bright in blue. the UNC nines. A nah. bright blue. Already, UNC. It's nah. like all white with this bright blue. <laughs> yeah. Uh I do see also like Jordan nines are like a high cut sneaker. They're yeah. Yeah. Technically. So it, it won't go well for me. With shorts, okay. I got the like, uh, like bigger the leg ankles thing. Ankles are crazy. Like, so, legs. so like the the <laughs> shoe will flow directly into the calf. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a big okay. elephant. Yeah, no, stump, I, I get you. you know? I get you. I get you. I get you. There's no separation. It's like no, that's it. A, it's like like not having a neck, you know. You're like, might as well be wearing like thigh <laughs> yeah. high boots. No neck. Yeah, no, it does go high. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Did they, did they make like a winterized? Head and shoulders. Did they make a winterized Jordan Nine or something? Yep, like that? there's been a few winterized Jordan. The nine winterized things. Jordan Nine, yeah, it makes sense. Yep. <laughs> Three or four. I feel like Jordan Nine. You don't have to add the winterized. Oh like, no, you do. I, it's just I get it. I get it. You're putting some extra stuff into it, but the Jordan Nine kind of is a winterized shoe already. Is, yeah, it's high. Like it's, it's high. It's leathered. Mm-hmm. Eh. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. That's just my take. Um, <laughs> next shoe, Jordan 4 Blue. Uh, sorry, Military Blue. Jordan 4 Military Blue. Uh, I think they, they dropped some... Uh, were they official images? I'm not sure. Oh, I think they are, yeah. Yeah. It looks I nice saw what there. was supposedly um, the early pairs on on uh, a video on, Inst- or, sorry, on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, the the guy commented about how they're more of a vanilla than a white the uh, the leather portion of it. You could see in this video. I don't know. They right. could be fake. I don't know. They're at a sneaker thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, yeah. They're reimagining, are they? I'm not sure. Uh, are they part of that series or no? I would I would be if they are not. They should be. Like, yeah. there's no reason why it shouldn't be. It's it's like an OG ish. Colorway, I know, you know, but like, but in the same breath, like, we like, I, like I just said, we, we got OG, we got all the fives, we got burgundy fives. They didn't reimagine those; they just left them as is. You are correct. They cheat. That uh-huh. is very true. Um, n- no, I, I well, feel like they're. I don't feel like they are for some. They're reason. not reimagined. Like they're, like they're, the they're not reimagined. They're not even naming say... them reimagined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I heard they changed the. It's just the, the name of the cement. color of blue too. It's just yeah, it's military three. blue. It's it's not military blue anymore. Like, it's something like, else. Like the official name of the blue? That's what I saw somewhere. Yeah, I, yeah, I just saw that. I, saw that I as hate well. when Nike does this. I dislike <laughs> like, I, you know, like, and I get, like, for example, Air Max 90 infrareds, like, they, they brought back because of the original color was called Radiant Red. But it's like, right. everybody knows them as the infrared. Are you really going to just throw Not only that, out? they went 86 on it at the right. same time. No, no, that's the mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. No, they called it, no, the three. Air Max 3. Oh, the Air Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. everyone's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> so and silly. they're calling it the, the industrial blue. <laughs> yeah. Industrial blue? It is It yeah. is a... Yo, if this is the official image and this is the official shoe and no one's messed around with like the, the shade, like the saturation or yeah, whatnot, the blue does it's look, darker. Yeah, it does look It's dark. darker oh, than military okay. blue. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did see a comparison photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Compared to the... Was it 2012s? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's yeah, uh, they look uh, nice. Crazy. I mean, if crazy. yeah, crazy. If, if you're looking for that, it looks it looked nice from everything I saw. But they, it did look like they have dif- different colors, which is kind of cool too, in my opinion, man. Because it's close yeah. enough to the OG, but hmm. like if you have hmm. the OG, it's still different. You know what right. I mean? It doesn't yeah. take anything away from the shoe right. you own. You know what I mean? When re-releases happen, and now all of a sudden, this Grail you had. Is now just like mass produced, and you get that too. I get that. I like that. It's it's nice that they do that because sometimes, like without the differentiation, it's like, damn, (laughs) you know. Yeah. 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 You could play. You could also play like Team Early, and then just Team Early. (laughs) Team Early. Twenty twelve. Yeah. Two thousand (laughs) nine. Ah. Yeah, it's also got the Nike Air on the Mm -hmm. back. That's very nice. Yep. That's the first time on, uh, on a retro. Oh, for the retro, yeah. The the T 
2006 had the uh, jump Jump man. man on it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yep, yep. Um, all right. Jordan won Green Glow. Now, let me tell you about Green Glow. I like Green Glow. All right. <laughs> it's a nice color. Mm -hmm. It's not like, uh, how do we say, dull? Like a, like a, like a forest green or a lucky green, even lucky green is not lucky greens childish to me. Okay. A green glow. <laughs> what? I don't know. I a think green these glow, ones are childish. A They're green like a highlighter. glow. A green glow is like wearing hype sneakers to an event where there's not too many sneaker heads. It looks like it's supposed to go, <laughs> but it doesn't. So. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. It looks like it's supposed oh. to glow in the dark, but it doesn't. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like it's it's pre-charged. I, I, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> it's pre-charged. Yeah, I'm with I'm with Jr. I don't know if I'm a, I don't know if I'm a fan. It's of these a, ones. it's a, what do you call that? Glow in the dark reimagined. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> no. I'll stick to my. What, they're patent leather too. Are they patent leather? Uh, I no. Didn't look like. I like the, I like lucky green. Lucky, oh, like not. the lucky green twos. Mm. Isn't that yeah. like Celtic's okay. green? Is Lucky no. Green not Celtic's green? Not, Lucky... It's not exactly, but it's closer to On a that. sneaker, it's different. Like, mm -hmm. if I'm going to wear a Lucky <laughs> Green shirt, all right. But I'm saying, I don't Wait, want my... what? Wait, <laughs> you, take... <laughs> you take the Lucky Wait, Green look. shirt before so, the sneaker? <laughs> so if, the, like, good example, JR, because the two, even the five, they, they don't use too much of the green. It's like hits. It's mm -hmm. mostly right. white. Yeah. Yeah. That I like. When there's too much lucky green. Okay. No. Okay. There's I like understand. a zero barrier. Once you go past the barrier, you can't go back. You can't go back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, and where do these sit? These Jordan ones on the your... green glow? The green glow yeah. is not a lucky green, though. This one reminds me a lot of that, the one that we couldn't get from Art Basil or Basil. Yeah. Art Basil. Yeah. 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 The me too. That's what it first yeah, yeah, reminded yeah. me of, but it's then it looks so bright. <laughs> the more I looked at it, the more I'm like, damn, the <laughs> color is bright, man. It's it's pretty, yeah. I mean, yeah, they do kind of look like that. I'd have to see them in person. Yeah, that art basil pair is sick, man. It so... is so good, but like, the if, glue? I don't, the glue? I don't know anyone. Yeah, that has them. Me neither. Uh... <laughs> Russ Pink is like. Russ Love Pink Russ or, or one of my that, very favorite yeah. Jordans. Of, like I, I know somebody. Aside from I associate OG colors, Russ Pink with you all every time, Cal. <laughs> that shoe is like, yeah. yeah. Shoe. Outside Great of shoe. like the the OGs, that's mm -hmm. like my favorite Jordan one. Like out of every single one, if we're mm -hmm. not, you know what I mean. I'm not trying to say it's better than Chicago ones. Like <laughs> no, no, no. You no. know what I mean, but yeah, yeah. it's uh. Did we ever do yeah, a it's uh, my favorite Jordan though. one? It's uh, one of Cal's draft. Games. I think we did. I think I think, I, did, I, think yeah. I drafted it. You drafted it. Oh no, no, but like a full <laughs> draft, not like on a pod episode. Like we get like where we get like seven people in a room and we draft. Uh, oh no, yeah. I've never done that. We did Air Max. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. If we do it another one. Yeah, we could. Okay. Did you guys see the Joe Fresh Good One Thousand? The pink minks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 What, what's ones. the number I of that? The Black ones? ice. One thousand, New 1, Balance one thousand, yeah. Okay, I saw the I'm first ones that look like the that look like the Skepta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was I was like, damn. Yeah, it's like damn. damn. <laughs> you know, I, I like the pink ones. The pink ones are nice. Yeah, I yeah, agree. yeah, yeah. I do like. I don't know. I don't think I could get the uh, brown one. Mm. Hmm. It's too the, dark for the me. The Skepta ice. one. That's too dark yeah, for me. The is it, uh, well just does it have skeptic. some uh, iridescence <laughs> to see, it? Yeah, yeah. It does have iridescence I to so, it. Yeah. 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 That's, that's not bad. And so does the, the pink one. I mean, you're kind they of They look like the AE ones. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Like if you yeah. get the, if you if you stand in the sun just right. <laughs> same. <laughs> Literally. Look at all these look at all these brands copying each other. Huh? <laughs> I know. They're like all the same color palettes. But no, I'm a fan this of the stealing pink, from the UK, one. man. Skepta. Yeah. Right. That's true. That's uh, he did it first, man. He did it first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like these pink joints. Well, I mean, really yeah. though, that was that. I mean, the the that colorway was on a 
foam positive. I'm pretty sure. True. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Or like, what's that? The, the Air Max the Plus, no? Or something. Was it, was it on Max OG something. Plus? I know yeah. you're talking like OG, a TN, yes. like the OG yeah, yeah. TNs maybe. Yeah. yeah. Mm, oh, definitely TNs, I think. Huh. Anyways. All right. Uh, yeah, those are nice. I don't did. I don't know when they're releasing. Which that dark one is pretty hard body, man. Like they're that's not my in style, April. but April. No idea when, but a pretty tough shoe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. I'm gonna good. try for them for sure. Is it the first time they have a 1000? No, I think it's a sure. retro model. It's the first time it's been out in like like years. Apparently, that's the way to do it, yeah. though. You you do a nice collab. Oh, it's a 1999 attention. runner. There you go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so there you go. Man, that's how you release it. Yeah, that is how you do it. Look what it did for the 550. <laughs> Leave it to Joe Fresh Goods. <laughs> yep. Yep. And uh, JFG? Okay. Yeah. Um, Jordan 1 Low Shadow. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. You yeah. Can't go it's happening. Yeah. There was a shock drop today on sneakers for the, oh. American, for the American people's. I don't know if, okay, yeah. Maybe in the U.S. it's necessary. I don't think it'll be necessary here. Like, I think people will have enough time to grab pairs. So I had this conversation with my friend who works at Nike. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I disagree with that. I think it's going to, I think in Canada, like, we want sneakers just as bad as people in the U.S. do. So I don't see them, like, shock dropping something here and not selling out. I think it's selling out regardless of what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 mean, think I think so. It's what like, about, like um, you said but shock drop, but what about date? on like an actual release date? Yeah, shock drop, I understand a sellout, but I think it'll be easy to cop on release date. I least. agree. No, I agree. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying like okay. Nike needs it. Nike needs to talk. I was telling you like Nike, just toss, get like 10,000 pairs for us. Just <laughs> why not just do, shock. It. do it shock. do it yeah you can make it and i know these people can make it happen it's just like just do it like, oh, we tried it we, we tried it once and we, it took two days to sell out i'm like what do you so like what do you mean like, it's still sold out yeah, yeah like, no i think the first conversation is we we still don't know how to make the website the app we don't <laughs> we don't know don't how even to, no, like, don't even get me started don't even get, yeah don't even get me started. how do you activate the buttons i don't know yeah anyways <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, Yo, if, no. If there's a shock drop, dude, just the fact that they call it a shock drop, mm-hmm. like someone's gonna leak shock drop, and people are gonna go bother. Oh, yeah, everybody. Yeah. I was on, I was on my usual YouTube rounds this morning, and people were already people were like, oh yeah, two oh eight this afternoon shock drop, like mm-hmm. shadows, gringo ones. Mm. I definitely got the the soul savvy message too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. in Slack. <laughs> Shut up, like, shut oh, up, big shit. L. Shut up, big L. <laughs> I don't know how to use it. Um, I like, so I like this yeah. shoe a lot, man. I try, I tried. I again, shut up, big L. He tried to get me on it, and it, it's just I'm, I, yeah, I'm good. It's, 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 it's not. It's because I'm a lazy bastard. I'm not. That's exactly I'm not why. Yeah, no, time. it's definitely yeah. that because it's a lot of work. Like there, yeah. there's no, a lot I, of steps. I think rules. I'm just. I'm also just not like. I'm like I'm a dodo like. Chris, mm-hmm. just fucking sit down and read it. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, okay. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, New Balance Kith Cal, the, oh, the women's one. Uh, yeah. isn't it? It's uh, is it a women's one? Releasing women's? The I think, Monday. I think they're well. They're releasing it at the women's store, right? Mm. Yes. Um, and I think most of the promotion has showed women, but I've women seen men in it too. All right. Um. So I think, I think it's just yeah, like it's two pairs. They're both like you know, like what do you call that? Ungendered or whatever. Make make genderless releases a thing in twenty twenty four. Yeah, like that's what I think it is. And he's just releasing one at the women's flagship to like make it special or whatever. Yeah, and then um, uh, or just call him an ass. Get him on the the other one anywhere. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> just call him an ass, man. What are you waiting for, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> Press no. one speed down number one. And speed down number, number one. Kobe's like I was like blushing on camera. You can't look at the camera. Right now. <laughs> he's like he's sitting I in wish, the background right? having a beer with a cow right yeah, now. Yeah. Sitting in the back room. Little than do we know. Yeah, yeah Ronnie's just there. Yeah, know. yeah. Just cow, shut up. Just, don't tell him here. I don't. I don't. I'm like struggling on what I'm gonna do about this shoe. It's a nice shoe. 
I like, I like, I like, yeah. like this colorway, the white. It's and not blue. for me, but I like I like them, but I don't think it's I could I don't think I could pull them off. I think uh-huh. they're sick though. Yeah. I don't really do the the mesh techie runner look. Like that's mm. it doesn't it's not super intriguing to me, but I I like the way these look, man. Like I like this model. I like when they they mess around with this model. This is this is what the 1906 is this the one? Am I, I so, yeah. Saying it right? Right? Oh, oh yeah, 1906 R or something. R, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's the same pair that this never that. Awesome. And Brock's mm-hmm. getting. Yeah. And it's always I I find it it does well with like when you have like different colors on it and blah blah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of nice paneling on it too. Yeah. 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 I like it, I like it a lot. All right. Uh anything else you guys want to chit chat about that you peeped uh online? The awake Air Jordan ships, airships. Uh-huh. Yes, the airships. Yeah. I like that whole collection, the apparel. The shoes are nice. Too. Yo, the the jacket's crazy. That jacket. Yeah, yeah the, the jacket is sick. I, I want the jacket more than I want the shoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going like to the... New York. Oh, go for it. Oh. On Saturday. Um, oh. there's going to be a release in store, so I'll, I'll, I'm going to see if I can get my hands on a small, on a small size. Hopefully they have. So you you so you can grab the shoes and you can also um, you can grab shoes. a jacket. Yeah. Uh, if, <laughs> if JR needs a jacket, I'll grab a jacket. Maybe. <laughs> I don't even want to know the price of the jacket. Nope. I'll, I'm going to say, I'm going to have to go sell part of my leg and I don't feel like doing that. So. <laughs> <laughs> These are nice yeah. though, man. I like I like that A hit on it. On yeah, the side yeah, I like yeah. the um, the promo for this. Mm. It's so hard yeah. too. Like yeah. you see, like whoa, what is this? Carmelo and Clark and all the New York people. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah. yeah, they had like a Bronx native too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awake's a good Kill. brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out to yeah. Angelo, Mr. Bach. Yep, and Hugo. I had a, I had a very <laughs> yeah yeah I had a. Weird, one of my weird meetings at eBay. Um, Hunter, shout out to Hunter. Um, he knows Angelo very well. We had like a weird meeting with him, trying to get awake onto onto the onto the platform. Um, but yeah, super cool guy, super smart, very creative. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Formerly, formerly of Supreme. Mm. Good stuff. Very strong, and uh, I think it's one of the airships that kind of stands out the most i agree yeah 100 yeah. percent. i agree yeah just with that, these that, guys that, in that corporate was... are the only ones that i remember to be honest everything else looks the exact same yeah, yeah. every all the, all the every game pairs really look the exact same like the, the way the rollout happened with um nigel getting his first and then everybody's like oh we're gonna get those and they're like oh no, no. you guys are you guys are getting those ones <laughs> just give me the b instead of yeah. the n please <laughs> no 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 <laughs> um, we'll get Nike but yeah here. Yeah, Calby, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, yeah. If they, I don't know, like if they go this way with future airship, would it do better? Because they sit right airship most mm-hmm. most oh, of yeah. the colorway sit M- most of them. This one I could see like gone for sure. Yeah. Why aren't they color blocking the toe wrap? Like, why is everybody doing it one solid base one, color? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I, like if you turn that toe wrap a different color, it's a completely different shoe. Yeah, it could be. It could be Nike saying you can't change that. Mm. But even Nike, why doesn't Nike do that? Like, like make all the air shifts are, are white. They're, man. They're <laughs> Every yeah, single yeah, pair. They're, there's like four pairs that aren't white, man. Every single pair is everything. white. They're, they're sticklers about <laughs> legacy. You know that. But wait, wait, wait. Mm. This one has white and gray. But wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this one has white and orange. No. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. Oh, it was the Ama Monier pair that looked like it, like the 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 yeah. aged midsole on these, but the ones on the Ama Moniers were like really, really bad. Like it looked like oh yeah, like it looked like dog poo on the oh, shoe. Shit. It was like, <laughs> yeah. it was like, damn man, it just like, looked it, dirty. It looked, it just looked dirty. It didn't look yeah. vintage or like age. It just looked dirty. It was like, damn, this is not what you guys wanted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why they're selling below retail right now. Yeah, and it's a nice <laughs> shoe. It's just like, damn. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to catch your eye on uh, on ins- on this Instagrams or the X or the whatever? I mean, the Kyrie, Antis Kyrie shoot Ooh. came out two hours ago. Yo, 
I'm glad you mm-hmm. brought this up. Right before, the, right before the pod started. You like them a lot? I, I think they're sick, yeah. As a ball shoe, they look like... They, I mean, they look like exactly what... The, like what where the Kyrie was going if he stayed with mm-hmm. Nike. I feel mm-hmm. like it looked like what he wanted. And that was kind of like, I, I don't know if it was where was promo about it or like a blog stated it, but it was like the Kyrie shoe that Nike wouldn't do or something like that. Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh, like this is what Kyrie wanted. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I think they look great. Um, I haven't seen any performance reviews on them. I haven't like watched, I don't think Wear Testers has gotten them yet, but um, it'll be interesting to see. But yeah, I, I think, think they safe. did get them. Did they get them already? I, I haven't think, checked the, I think the Nightwing well. had, had a pair. Yeah. Oh, sick. Okay. I'll I don't know it. if you did a performance review though. I feel like I saw something good about yeah. them, and he's one of the only re- reviewers I watched. So, okay. okay, he might have got a pair because I remember one. hearing something good mm-hmm. good about them. But maybe they might have been someone else. Might have came on randomly. <laughs> I think uh, Josh got a pair too. Yeah, that makes Josh sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Thank yeah, great shoe. What do you think, Chris? I, I like it. It looks it looks cool. It looks very cool. I like him a lot more because Jalen Brown wore them first half of All Star Game. Mm. I thought that was very cool. Um, part of me feels like they look stiff, but then what do I know? <laughs> it, it looks like a ball shoe that break. Like if you break once it's broken in, it's like it probably yeah. wears and plays. Yeah, really yeah, well. yeah, 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 yeah. Will it make me play like Kyrie though, Jr.? Tell me. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you are you a walking bucket on the court like he is? Uh, you know, define walking. No, so um, <laughs> I like it a lot. I like that there's a strap. I like the colors yeah. picked out. Um, thank goodness the NBA didn't put any restrictions on like uniforms and sneakers anymore. Mm, so mm, yeah, yeah. That's there's nice. a lot going on. Yeah. There's a lot going on. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Um, I don't know what the pricing is going to be like. What the aftermarket aftermarket's probably gonna be crazy stupid for this shoe. I think so too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is weird for a sh- like a company like Anta. I know I know yeah. attach Kyrie to a shoe and it's gonna sell, but I just mean it's, it's interesting that a company like Anta who has who on their roster. Hmm. Play. Gordon Hayward. <laughs> are we buy- are we buying <laughs> are we buying their shoes? <laughs> Yeah. No offense. So, uh, no, no, no. I'm just saying, players. yeah, you know, that's just the, the answer to the question. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah. it's that's well, they, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. They retail for 125 US, which is pretty cheap for for ball for shoes. For it a is ball very shoe, cheap. yeah. Very cheap. That's a great price. It's yeah. whether people can get their hands on them and then I what like most people do which is, you know, it's it's True. a cool thing to for for to happen for a sneaker line that's starting off because then it makes all the subsequent pairs sought after more well, once you get people popular. interested yeah yep yep it's yo like, when they bring them out here what if they brought them out at uh like at boutique, boutiques only even would mm. build it up even more a bit right like at the start because then you could only get them at a couple places so they'd sell out at those couple few places real quick mm. well i mean only like, a couple places be- i I know now sell Anta. It's not like everybody sells that brand as it is. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't know where to even get them. I was thinking, yeah. of, like, for, how do you even get them in your hands? Like, right. probably just through the like. It was online. tonight. It was on the site, and then like, I'm, I'm, I think, I think Sports in Canada. I think Sports Check carries Anta. Oh yeah, okay. I think. Yeah, because they do other they do other sports too. Um, mm. I can't. True, what true, else, true, true, true. Probably, yeah. yeah. Uh, very cool. Yeah, I like this a lot. Anything else before we move on? That's enough. We want to um, talk about Fruity Pebbles, the bronze, or no? Uh, we can quick. <laughs> Shelby doesn't. No. <laughs> no, <it's> just... <laughs> Even though there was a kith attachment, what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> but like, how, how I mean, they're a... fine, man. That's a cool attachment. Yo, I couldn't even get the cereal. I tried for the cereal. It didn't even go online. Like, it didn't mm. go on the Canadian app. And then I look at my loyalty thing and it says like early access. I'm like, yo, I got no notification for this. I, and it's not I don't even get on the notifi- page. I, so I don't yep. I don't get notifications on that app either for early access think, anything. I think maybe it was uh US only. Because I tried for it. I wanted the cereal. So like I can't uh, even lie. Like I was paying attention to that. I don't like LeBron at all, man. But um, I, <laughs> but, um, uh, but yeah. um 
cool shoe. Yeah. Yeah. I I like Bye. the um <laughs> what was it? Like they they had pictures of him going in store to pick up a pair. I go and everyone's like in the comments, this guy don't need to go to a store to pick up a pair. Yeah. <laughs> he no, just tells Nike. Somebody somebody's you know? getting paid. Somebody's getting paid for that promo though. Exactly. Somebody's getting but- paid. But it was all like picking up a pair for his friend. Shut up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he doesn't need to pick up a pair for his friend. What's the yeah. tone deaf situation? Like... Yeah. And I feel like um, LeBron 4 Retro is cool. Yep. I don't know if the timing is right, which is weird because it's very a foam like sneaker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big, you know. Well, it's a brick. Yeah, the bricks. There's so and, many. Uh, I don't know if we're in that way yet. Phone posits are kind of making a resurgence, but mm-hmm. uh, I don't know if it's strong enough. Because the, I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right, guys. Uh, recently, I uh, had there was like a little get together, a uh, bunch of friends, old friends, uh, people from high school. We met up, just chit-chatting. Didn't recognize a few guys. But they're like, yeah, this topic of me being into sneakers came into play. And when I, that happens with people that are not sneakerheads, I'd rather not talk about it. Mm. I don't... It, it's <laughs> like, because this question always comes about. How many pairs do you have? Yeah. And yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. I really don't know. And I don't really pay attention to that. For me, it's not what I want people to ask me about because um, for me, it's not what represents me as a mm. sneaker head. Okay. A sneaker enthusiast, sneaker lover, sneaker aficionado, whatever. Okay. That's not what I want to be known to be like a dude that just doesn't know how to spend his money. No, <laughs> which it's true, but no. Okay. Um, no, I get it. I get it. Yeah. So I wanted to kind of, Ask you guys, how do you go <laughs> I about? Was, I thought you'd be like, so how many pairs do you have? <laughs> I wanted to ask you guys. So. Ballpark. This ballpark. <laughs> how do you guys <clears throat> prove, or maybe prove is not the right word, that you're a sneaker head or that you have an affinity to sneakers? Prove? Without, like, you know, to me, just saying how many you have doesn't do anything. Yeah, because there there was like those people during the pandemic with like mad money who really don't care about sneakers, but they had the money, so they bought all the sneakers in the world. But that's anybody with sneakers. That's anybody with money who finds sneakers interesting, who has a mm-hmm. friend who has sneakers. It's pay- sneakers have been paid to play for over a decade now. Right. Yeah. So how maybe I can ask you, <laughs> I get I, I can ask you this. And it's like, it has been. <laughs> So, so it has been like it, it's it sucks like we've all been all of us here can attest like we've all been into sneakers before it was the cool thing to do like we've all been there we've all been doing it we have all loved it for that long like it hasn't it wasn't just something that we were like oh like i got right money. You gotta, i got mo- i got money now so i'm gonna buy cool shit uh, like okay, we started okay, buying okay, okay. cool shit when we got money but we were already got buying sneakers and into sneakers okay. before all that shit happened right Fair. um I don't, I don't know. I, I, I love this. Con- like, I get very heated about this conversation because it's like <laughs> I, I had this conversation with somebody on Twitter and it's like, yeah, we were here before the shit was cool. And like sneakers aren't going to go anywhere. Um, but yeah, it's back to my, back to Maya's point. So look, why would you I'll phrase it slightly differently? We'll see if we get different results. Why would you consider yourself a sneakerhead? So like I get the point of you've been into it but like why would you be a sneaker head like what <laughs> I, I feel like you're asking me to like tell you to <laughs> so you're like what would you say to somebody about not getting into sneakers because it's, it's not fun no no no, no. <laughs> i i i have kind of like an answer because one day i just i was just sitting there thinking to myself how much i love this shit mm-hmm. okay I think- like like this shoe, okay? And mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest. I ha- I have not been on Adidas for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay? The AE ones. You? But this like shoe it. is beautiful. It's a nice shoe. Like. Yeah. I, I, I can agree, Chris, because, like, it's been a while since, like, I've had a shoe in hand where I thought 
yo, like, these are beautiful, you know, mm -hmm. like, this is a work of art, like, pictures don't do, like, the Adidas AE1s justice, like, you have to see them in person, like we were saying earlier, <laughs> they're just, That's like, even, so, it's true. so it's been a while since I've had that feeling, and I'm glad that, like, it, I, it came with that pair, because I'm, like, okay, it feels good again, because I, it's like I said, it's been a while, <laughs> but, but um, That's a... I think that would be a good way to uh, answer the question, Chris, um, because you're just appreciative of it. You're appreciative of mm -hmm. like the artisticness in, of the sneakers, if that makes any sense, you know, like, so yeah. it's like you just see it and you're like, wow, like this is art. Like, I love this. So that's kind of how I felt a lot in the right. beginning too yeah I get and i you. haven't in a long time and then these mm. ae ones when they came out i was like okay these are beautiful yeah i'm glad i, I picked these I, up <laughs> i understand that's the point that's where... that's probably what i would say to be to be honest like how you said i would say the exact same thing as maya like you look at them as art the design in the shoes like art mm -hmm. so you collect them that's that's what you like about it it's different or whatever like you you see them as art so yeah so you collect it. maybe like we look at sneakers with a different eye yeah oh like, absolutely how do you look at a performance basketball sneaker and think that it looks cool but we like you subconsciously understand that this is a performance shoe so you, you there's a different type of beauty to it versus like something that you're going to wear on the street which is also beautiful but my brain works differently like my the, the performance component plays into how i look at a shoe for for, for basketball versus a, something that i'm going to wear on the street right. but like i i would i would have to say that like as people who are into sneakers we care more than the average person does about what's on our feet uh, in, on any given day of the mm. week mm -hmm. and it's not something i don't know if this is true but it's not something that we want to like i would hate to wake up every morning and know that i'm wearing the same shoe yeah <laughs> i know yes. some people really just throw on a pair of dirty air force yo shout out to La lauren said this years ago in a pot in one of the pods i can't remember this was like before like long before pandemic it's like people just consider shoes as fucking foot covers mm. it's like they don't yeah. look at them like we do they don't care they don't obsess about them they don't care about the design and who did it and what and materials and why yeah. they just yeah. like they're just like I went to Payless and bought shoes and I wear them today. And like, that's, like, that's it's it. True. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. and there's nothing, like and there's nothing there's wrong with that. Like that. There is people like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But that's, <laughs> oh my God, people will go surprised. to Forever 21 and buy some shoes. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. And it's like, okay, I, I love that for you. And they spend their money elsewhere and in different places. And there's yeah, nothing wrong with yeah. it. But that's what, that's what differentiates. I think it's like us being into sneakers, like sneaker heads is like the fact that we care more about that and we don't want to wear the same thing every day. I feel like it, 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 so sneakers is footwear, but I feel like our love for sneakers kind of also translates to other footwear to this point. Like if we're, if I'm going like dressed up a scenario a banquet or whatnot, and people are wearing like suits, like, oh, they're looking tight. But then mm -hmm. you pan down and their shoes are just wrong for the suit. You're like, nah, you you fucked it up, bro. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. you miss that. And that ruins yeah. your whole outfit. While with sneakers, you could be wearing like ripped up sweats, uh an old t-shirt. But if your shoes are purposeful, it means you chose that outfit. Like you wanted to look like that on purpose, and you're making a specific statement about something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Right. Yeah, right. It's like, you can wear, like, the same outfit every day, but change your shoes, and it's a different outfit. I'm telling you. I like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Literally, like... <laughs> True. Shit. Yeah. That was a great question. Agreed. <laughs> yeah but how many shoes do you have though 
Oh my god. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Bye. I knew it was coming. I, it was coming. <laughs> I literally stopped counting like I like more than five years ago, I stopped counting past a hundred. Is is it because you don't care about counting or that you can't count over a hundred? What is it though? Let's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, it's because it fluctuates. It fluctuates, uh. you know. <laughs> um Jared, I don't know if you know, but uh, I've been recently looking for a lifestyle Adidas sneaker to to wear outside. Uh, I've been asking the audience for their suggestions. I've been asking the crew for their suggestions. Um, we did get two messages this past week about that. So I'm just going to read them quick, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, one from... It's one. These, these are the ones you should get. Dude. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There's a, JR showing me a pair of Adidas. The What's the Kith, official name? The Kith, the Kith Samba Clarks. Kith Samba Clarks. Is there a specific name? The 8th Street. 8th Street, eight I think. Street, is street the, Samba. Yeah. The 8th Street. Yeah, so that's nice. what you need, official Chris. Name. That <laughs> so nice. Um Message from Ian Russell. Hey, bro, listening to the podcast. Try the cloth superstar. Super chunky soul looks good, in my opinion. Mm. Uh, he also said, I also, ju he, Ian, just also got the fog, so fear of God, LA trainer. And he's waiting mm. on delivery for those. Those LA trainers are nice. They're yeah, chill. I like I like the I don't mind the fog stuff, the new fog Adidas stuff. It's overpriced, yeah, it looks, but it's but it's fog. overpriced. It's yes. fog. Yeah. It's fog though. It's fog. You can't. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's not essential. It's not essentials. It's not even like <laughs> yeah, it's, it's mainline. It's, yeah. it's mainline fear of God. Like with, yes, yes. with Adidas attached to it. So hmm. uh, that looks like, like a fear of God shoe as well. Yes, yeah. like, it does. You can just it, look at it and tell that's a fear of God design. Mm -hmm. And did like that. Um, the clot superstars though apps so shout out to Edison Chan, fellow Canadian, great designer. That shoe is horrible. Horrible. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Bad. Oh no, no, no. Not for me. Just uh -huh. I it just doesn't I don't just I don't know what he was thinking with that one, man. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Wow. Um <laughs> another message from uh, I'm alone on that. I'm alone on that one. Huh? No. I I'll, I'll agree with you with it, for sure. Yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not in not in LA trainers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Nee. <laughs> All right. Uh, Vart. Oh. Uh, he goes, "Hey Chris, love the pod. Was listening to the latest episode and wanted to suggest some Adidas forums if you've never tried them. Few good collab options out there in the low and high cut, but the GRs are great as well. Some cheap options too if you just wanted to get." A feel for them. Uh, keep up the great work with the pod and IG. Yeah, shout out the art. Yeah. Um, I do. The like only forums for... I see you in are the Bad Bunny forums. <laughs> I like those, but yep. that the colors on them make kind of particular for my wares. Like I don't mm -hmm. think I could wear them with anything. Anything that I wanted, like I'd have to trying to curate the whole thing all the time mm. i mean if i want to just throw on i guess i could throw on just like random sweats with them but i was just saying like at night like if you're talking about like the pink ones like yeah you're just wearing a pair yeah. of like gray sweats and you a could like, and, a bl and a black tee which is your uniform <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe yes I, I do like the vape form mm. yeah yeah the vape ones are bad yeah the last Babe Adidas collab was done really well. I liked it a lot. I like that one too, yeah. Yeah, very mm -hmm. clean. Um, thanks for those uh, messages. Keep them coming. I'm not uh, yeah. decided yet. I honestly, maybe there's this AE1 Stormtrooper on the streets. Yeah. What you going to do? <laughs> yeah, no, that colorway is definitely street worthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Anything else, guys? A little shout out, something you want to say before we close it up? Yeah, I want to shout out um, one of my homies, Hurt Leash, on Instagram. They're a designer. Um, they're cut and sew. They make clothes by hand. They made me this like fire hoodie that's like double layered. So no matter what side you wear it on, 
it's the same mm -hmm. so it's technically reversible but yeah no they have some really cool pieces it's h-u-r-t-l-i-c-h-e on instagram okay. everything's made in canada by hand cut and sew some pretty cool designs all right there you go <laughs> um all right, guys, uh, that was a great show. Thank you, audience, for joining us once again. And you can download and listen to the Sinker Podcast anywhere podcasts are broadcast. Calby, where can people find you on social media? You can find me at Just Calby. Shout out, Just Calby. And Maya, <clears throat> where can people find you? You can find me at Potato, Po.Tato, and at Traffic Boys. Shout out to the Traffic Boys. JR, where can people find you? JR Weidman and JR Weidman Creative Services, both on Instagram. Oh, yeah, check it out. Uh, shout out to Alvin. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Alvin. Hello. We love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> See you on Saturday, big bro. He is the cutest of Q marks. Let me just say that. I, <laughs> I, I commented uh, on Mrs. Q Mart's post, Mr. Cute Mark, because he looked cute as well. <laughs> Mr. Cute Mark. <laughs> <laughs> JR is going to steal your man. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> watch out, <Sash>. Yeah. <laughs> cute part. Yeah, that, that's like, that's, yeah. It's a nice line, man. All right. And you can find myself at Christopher.chu. Be sure to follow us at The Sneaker Podcast. Big shout out to our sponsors, Sneaker Logic and Quality. One love, all the sneakers. Peace. Peace. Peace.